Hi Virgo Taurus and Capricorn, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out how does the person on your mind feel about you right now. To so book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 9th of May 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 6.13 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Virgo Taurus and Capricorn. If you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. All right now, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please to show me for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. The person on their mind right now, how do they feel about them? Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and the person. Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So two of Wands, two of Pentacles, two cards here that indicates like I'm not sure. I'm sitting on a fence, right? So they feel unsure about something right now. Um, the person on your mind. Oh, we've got the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Sun in reverse. It's almost like when it's in reverse, doesn't mean it's a bad card. Um, it just could mean like I don't really have that clarity yet. You know, um... I haven't seen everything yet. I don't know yet, right? But potentially it could be something good, right? Because the sun is actually a positive card, right? So we've got the Ace of Cups here in my first. If you cut this person off, they may feel rejected. Or if you said something too honest, too straightforward, they may feel a little bit hurt and feel a little bit unhappy with the sun here in my first. If it's not that, the Queen of Swords is just like somebody who doesn't take any BS, right? So this person may be feeling, okay, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn is somebody who wouldn't, you know, that you cannot cross the line with this person and cannot cross his or her boundaries, right? Doesn't matter he or she, not gender specific. Six of Pentacles, they feel like you are somebody kind or somebody very compassionate. You will give, you, you are generous, but also at the same time, you are not, you know, to be messed with. And Ten of Wands here is in my first, the Fool, Nine of Pentacles in my first. This is actually your energy too, but who knows, roles can be reversed. Hmm. The Fool is a bit of a risk taker, but calculated risks right they may feel like you're somebody who takes risks but you know in a smart way very calculated they may also feel like hmm does Virgo Taurus uh, if you are, are you rich are you doing well financially it's like there are some questions in regards to your money or your career how you make your money right now at this moment okay or is it too much for you right now, two of pentacles? Especially if you have kind of lashed out on somebody. Are you doing well? Like, it's, maybe this person could be feeling as though maybe something else is going on with your life that's making you, f like, a little bit snappy. This part is just for some of you, okay? If you've been snappy with this person <laughs> lately, if there have been some, you know, very, you know, queen of swords, again, like, if there has been some... If there have been some words being ex exchanged that was that seems a little bit, um, I wouldn't say aggressive, but a little bit mean or a little bit too honest or too, too blunt. <laughs> they feel like with the the fool, maybe I can take risks with Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, if especially if this is a business partner, a potential business partner, or it could be a romantic partner. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They feel like you are. Like maybe you are freeing yourself from them. That maybe this is. Potentially you're going to free yourself from this person. Because it's just way too much burden. Um, ten of Wands here in reverse. Way too much burden. Or way too much responsibilities. Or just something that is just way too much. Or overwhelming. They may feel overwhelmed as well. Again it could go vice versa. But something about it's too overwhelmed too overwhelming and I maybe I should just let go maybe I should just like release it and then 
with the food here, then I can finally breathe again. I can have my freedom. They may feel that you want your freedom and you're releasing them. And that you, you're not going to like kind of stick around anymore. Nine of Pentacles in World Verse. Because Nine of Pentacles is a you know, very grounded in energy. So they may be feeling as though like at one point in time, maybe you were grounded, you were reliable to this person and you were committed. But now they feel like maybe like, like it's coming to a point where it's going to come to a point where you're just going to release them or release whatever you've been promising to do for them, whatever you've been doing for this person. They feel like you might just like go, okay, enough, enough is enough. I might just cut this thing off, whatever I've told you I'm going to do or whatever I've been doing for you. And I'm just going to go get my freedom with the fool here. Just do my own thing. Or maybe this has already happened, right? Some of you, maybe you've already cut this person off. And because you want to release yourself from these burden this responsibilities or whatever you've been carrying on your shoulders in regards to this person in regards to this thing or your career it could be related to your career or money okay so not a soul in reverse so they feel like oh, i'm not sure i'm not sure what i'm gonna do next or even how i'm gonna feel five of cups in reverse they feel like you're trying to make the most out of whatever situation you could be in right now or it could be them feeling like they want to make the most out of whatever that's left for the both of you in this connection it's like trying to remain positive they may feel like okay it's maybe this connection is hard maybe the future looks kind of difficult or challenging but i'm willing to take this risk with virgo taurus in capricorn so we've got the Ace of Cups again in what verse here feels like they feel overwhelmed. That's this energy. Or that they feel like they may have overwhelmed you and you, you just have decided, you know, enough is enough. That kind of an energy. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, so whoever you could be thinking about, could be anybody, could be a friend, could be a family member, could be an ex, could be somebody you're romantic romantically connected with currently a boss co-workers can be anybody okay so we've got the queen of pentacles and reverse yeah they feel like as though like are you gonna stick around there's this energy i is like are you are, are you gonna stick around do you have something else under your sleeves like do you have plans something like a different plan to release yourself from them or from the situation and two of cups six of wands and one first this person feels like you know they're not sure whether you're on the same page as they are if you feel the same way for them because again these two twos here indicates you know indecision or someone feeling unsure and then we've got these six of wands and one first yeah they could be feeling as though like they're not sure whether you're interested if you're gonna stick around if you know if you still look at them the same way as before they don't know they feel like you know see six of pentacles two of pentacles here same it you know there's a wing scale right here so it feels like the two of pentacles also goes up and down so they're really feeling like you know something that is kind of like up and down between the two of you sometimes they feel a certain way that it's positive and sometimes they feel some way that maybe it's not so positive because it feels like they are not sure about how how you're going to be or what you have under your sleeves is there something about them like mm, what are your plans like are you planning to leave me are you planning to leave this company are you planning to strike out on your own with the fool here unless it's them unless it's them like feeling unsure then they feel like okay i need to wait and see two ones i don't want to decide yet i want to see if truly virgo taurus and capricorn is who who they seem to be at this moment mm, but i'm trying to remain positive here i'm not gonna if there's a romantic connection, I'm not going to like fall head over heels and invest completely or emotionally in this connection or in Virgo, Taurus and Capricorn because I feel like I'm still not, I don't, I don't really have that clarity yet. I'm still not 100% positive about it. 
um, yeah. King of Swords in Reverse, this person could be a Libra, Gemini, Chris, and we've got the High Priestess. Because they feel as though you ha you're keeping secrets, right? There are some things that they don't know yet, that this person doesn't know yet. Yep, they're still not clear. Look at this King of Swords, it's also in Reverse. I'm not sure if you are like you will be committed. Are you gonna stick around? Cause Queen of Pentacles in Reverse, are you gonna, are you going to commit fully? in this company or in this connection in this relationship or in this friendship it could be any of these things so they're not sure and then the empress here more first will there be growth in this connection in this situation in this scenario environment But again, these two cards are major arcanas. It's in reverse. Doesn't mean they are bad cards. It just feels like maybe it's leaning towards these two good cards when if it, when it's in an upright position, maybe it's leading towards that. But but um, you know, two of ones. I'm still not hundred percent sure, right? Because people change. I guess they feel that you know, hey. Eh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, potentially could be somebody I can grow with. This connection potentially could be very positive. But I just want to make sure two of cups that we both are on the same page, that we both want the same thing. And sometimes it's up and down, right? Like the two of pentacles here and the wave here is going up and down, as well as the six of pentacles with the weighing scale here. So they could be weighing the pros and the cons. Um about this connection about you whether if it's they could be calculating risks in regards to you as well or that they feel you calculating the risk <laughs> you are cal you are calculating the risks being with them being you know it could be from both ends right because we've got two two one two of wands and one two pentacles all right earth signs Virgo, Taurus, and capricorn this is your reading i hope you resonated in some way shape or form if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below feel free to subscribe to my other channel it's called chelsea vlogs this is my travel channel i'm gonna leave it in the link in the description box below as well and also it's gonna be on the screen you can click on it, it takes you straight to my other channel and if you'd like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. But make sure that you customize it because I post very often. I post every single day and a few times a day as well. So I don't want the notifications to bother anyone. I believe you can mute the sound. There are some options um, that you can customize according to your preferences. All right. Take care. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.